this should work. Abracadabra. Ta da! A £1.6 million retreat venue has officially opened in Devon by the daughter of the founders of the site where it first began. Claire Ash Wheeler formerly opened the Coach House Retreat, run by the Sharpen Trust, on the banks of the River Dart near Totnes, as a place for mindfulness retreats, specifically for deepening a connection to nature and tackling the effects of stress and burnout. I was very moved, very moved, when I came here early before everyone arrived, and I saw the changes and the fresh paint and the new double glazed windows and and the wood and the attention to detail and the atmosphere. I, I was moved to tears. I welled up several times. And then when I saw other trustees, I just felt very moved, very appreciative. Um, it's been a dream for a very long time, but only recently did we really get down to knuckle down to the drawings, or rather the trustees did, and really flesh it all out and put the money into it and the dedication. But uh, it's been a pipe dream for a long time, and it's fabulous. I think it will be a wonderful, nurturing place for people to come and do meditation retreats, contact with the natural world, the life cycles, the nature cycles, the season cycles, working in the veggie patch, having contact with the rewilding project here at Sharpham down by the river and just the landscape, the bird song, the quiet and the peace here and looking at our, our minds and seeing how our minds work and how we get caught up in them and this is a place to take time out and eat delicious food and in good company. Of course it is a challenging time for the globe at the moment, just how important is it for people to take their mental well-being into account and come on a trip to somewhere like this? It, I think it's more and more important because although some people could see it as quite a selfish thing to take time out and not be busy and involved all the time, it's so important to recharge your batteries and take time with others in silence or working together in silence or talking about things that really matter and meaningful to you and getting a deeper understanding of what it's like to live a meaningful life. And to do that in this sort of atmosphere at the Sharpham Trust in the coach house development, I think it's very, as I said earlier, nur nurturing and nourishing. It could be just a good thing for everybody's well-being, the planet, individuals. Because from sitting and seeing our own minds, there can be a lot of gratitude. Um, and from gratitude, there's a lot of compassion. And then that can go out into the wider world. What's not to be good about that? You know, that's, that's the knock-on effect of this sort of place and providing this sort of venue for people to come to, take time, time on their own and time with others in a beautiful landscape on the River Dart. At the grand launch, guests had the opportunity to explore the newly converted stable block and its 18 new bedrooms, as well as the timber frame space which offers a place to sit, eat and meditate. Plans for the facility originally came about five years ago when the ever popular retreats were becoming fully booked and people were being turned away. And so we thought, well, how can we increase our capacity to help more people as we're a charity? And so the coach house, uh, we weren't really using it for charitable purposes. It was, re it was uh, needed refurbishment, it needed investment. So we decided to take the plunge. This was before COVID and then make an investment and create a new centre so that more people could benefit from the retreats and the mindfulness work that we do. And what can visitors to the new coach house expect from their stay here? Um, we're going to be running weekly retreats and the, the mission of the Trust is to try to connect people to the natural world. So people will come, they'll get some space, out of, time out of their busy lives and they'll spend time on the estate, they'll help in the gardens and they'll also get involved with our rewilding project. So an exciting time ahead then? We hope so. And getting to this stage was a feat in itself, with the developers and team having to battle COVID-19 among other challenges. It's been a long planning process and it's been quite a tricky project to pull off during Covid, during a pandemic with rising costs and staff shortages whilst keeping a retreat centre going at the house. So we're pleased that it's, it's finished. What are you most looking forward to now that it's finished? Seeing it full, seeing it being used, seeing people connected mindfully with the natural environment. Such a beautiful area here in the estate. And of course with Covid more people are visiting the southwest than ever before. Are you planning to see an uptake, a big uptake in the amount of people staying locally now in the, in the summer months ahead? 
We hope so, that there'll be a good uh, uptake, um, but it's obviously very unpredictable times at the moment, isn't it? But the quality of the building, as you've seen, it's grade one listed, and the quality of the teaching here means that we're very optimistic that that will happen. The retreat is now taking bookings for the summer and coach house guests will be invited to explore the surrounding fields which are being restored to nature or they can help grow organic food in the walled garden. So with all that's going on in the world, why not give your mind a welcome break from the stresses of life this year? Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Totnet. <laughs>